Success is not a destination. Success is a journey. This message is brought to you from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Lily of the Valley Parish. God bless you as you listen. Today's message has been titled, and it's a question, are you growing old or growing up? Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. Say neighbor. Are you growing old or growing up? Praise the name of the Lord. This is a very powerful question this morning that each and every one of us must answer sincerely. Sincerely. You can deceive yourself. You can deceive your friend. You can deceive your sister, you can deceive your brother, you can deceive your pastor, you can deceive your neighbors, but when you veer off into deceiving yourself, it becomes a serious issue. And that is the greatest injustice you can do to yourself, to deceive yourself. So this morning, this question, you will answer yourself. Are you growing old? You must be everybody here. But in addition to that, are you growing up? Praise the name of the Lord. Many of us as Christians, many of us are over nine months as born again Christians. Some over three years. Some over five years. Ten years. The list can go on and on. That is chronological age. You're growing old in the Lord. But are you growing up? Say up. Yes. It's a question this morning. You must answer yourself. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Matthew 4, 4. I will read. Matthew 4, 4. He says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mount of God. This is Jesus answering the devil with the word of God. He says, But it, he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. Many of us, let me just some of us here are living by bread alone. And as you're living by bread alone, you grow. You grow. You grow. Older and older, which is normal. If you look at the picture of your faces when you were young, just like my own too, I remember when I, I used to be a very handsome small boy. I look at my picture in the primary schools. I look different. My father gave me a special name. Different. But now I look at the same face. You have fine lines. Fine lines. Let me give you the psychedelic name. Fine lines. So we are getting older and older and older. And so some of us, that is what, that is the only thing happening to us. But it's not good. But it says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. If you look at that closely, it says, proceeded out of the mouth of God. Not just the written word. When you study the Bible, when you, reach, when you study the Bible and put your attention there, Word of God jumps out of the Bible into your heart, proceeds from the mouth of God. God speaks to you, Rema. God breathes into His Word into your heart. He says, "Man shall not live by bread alone, but we shall live by every word that proceeded, proceeding Word of God." Are you living by the proceeding Word of God? <clears throat> proceeding Word of God, and that's a powerful injunction. And this morning, yeah, some of us are just growing 
old. Wake up in the morning. We eat. We go to do things we normally do and we come back. We are growing old. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, proceeded, and I challenge you, as you study the word of God, see it as God speaking to you. Are you with me? Yes. As you study further and further, you engage your attention, you begin to think. He speaks through his word. The word proceeds from his word. Are you with me? You must live by that too. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the word of God. Spoken word, proceeding word, rhema. You shall also live by it. And as you do that, you grow up. This has become a root interruption for many of us to sit down and engage the word of God that's able to make you grow up. It become a struggle. Struggling with our daily programs. Struggling with our challenges at home. Struggling with one to you or the other. Nobody sent you. Yeah. One of my pastors said, if you are too busy for God, maybe or if what you are doing now does not give you time for God, maybe <laughs> you are busier than God expects it to be. Don't allow anything you are going through. I don't care what it is. I don't care what is seemingly bringing to your post. To crowd out the word of God from you. Many of us are stuck in it. And I can sense that. Praise the name of the Lord. Second Chronicles, Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. See, asking the question, are you growing old or growing up? Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 says, For which cause we faint not? But though our outward man perishes, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. From the New Living Translation, it's rendered this way. That is why we never give up. That is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. Daily we die, physically. We walk towards our graves, but our spirit is renewed every day. This reminds me of a question that they asked me when I gave my life to God in New Orleans. Some of you are enjoying it now. You gave your life to God, everyone around you is born again. You gave your life to God, I had to exit my company. There was a particular relationship I was into. The person was pestering me and taunting me. <laughs> he said, George, look at you. I don't know what he saw. He said, look at you. You're degenerating. Look at you. I don't know. And as a young convert, the only encouragement I had was from this scripture. And God led me to the scripture that says, that is why you would never give up, George. Though your bodies are dying, and your spirits are being renewed every day, I went with that resolve after studying this, though your outward man perish it, but your evil man is renewed every day. Every day. And that scripture encouraged me. I stood on that scripture and I was able to overcome that temptation. Are you in that stage now? The scripture is saying, though outwardly you're looking as if you're perishing, but inwardly something is happening. Amen? Something is happening. Maybe you don't paint the way you used to paint, you know. I'm not against anything, but they think you're dying. No. Maybe you don't shout the way you used to shout. You don't swag, you know. You don't swag, you know? swag it the way you used to swag. <laughs> they think you're dying. You are not dying. The Bible says you're getting renewed. You're getting knowledge of God. You're getting revelation knowledge. You're getting more and more focused. 
You're getting to know why you were created. You are getting to be more confident. You're interacting with your God. Are you with me? You're interacting with your God. You have more confidence of who you are. You have more confidence of whose you are. You know where you're going. Joy is joy overflow in my heart. See, for the past, that song has been on my mind. Joy overflow in my heart. Sing. Sing new song to the Lord. Intermittently, I'll just stop. Joy over soul in my heart. Sing a new song to the Lord. Since after our anniversary. Joy overflow. You're getting renewed. You're getting renewed. Things happen to you that people think you are, you will cry. You just laugh and walk away. You're getting renewed every day. Praise the name of the Lord. That's supposed to be your experience. And I ask you that question again. Are you just getting growing old? Or in addition, you are growing up? Praise the name of the Lord. So with that, I was able to, God was able to deliver me from that temptation. And he will deliver you in Jesus' name. I don't know where you are standing, the kind of persecution or pressure you are into now, in your office, among your peers, among your colleagues, business partner. God is telling you, Though you may be outwardly perishing, inwardly you're getting renewed more and more. Amen? I'm speaking to you. I want to engage you. I want to know. I want to show you who you are. Many of you don't know the DNA. The kingdom life we've spoken. You don't even know. He wants to show you. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. What is growing old? I've said it. Growing old means your body cells are getting, you know, you grow from infancy, from there to toddler, to childhood, to teenager, young adult, middle age, old age. Progression. It's a normal progression. Is that all that's going through your mind, in your body? No, it shouldn't be so. Praise the name of the Lord. But it should be growing up. You grow up when you have a knowledge of God. Let's open to the book of First Peter. First Peter. First Peter. Chapter 2, verse 2. First Peter, chapter 2, verse 2. First Peter 2, 2. It says, First Peter 2, chapter 2 says, like newborn babes long for the pure milk of the world so that by it you grow in respect to salvation. Desire the sincere milk of the world so you grow in your salvation. You must desire. When you look at that scripture closely, it says desire. Desire. It's an attitude of somebody longing, craving, testing. There must be a conscious effort, a cultivated test for the word of God. Not have as that behavior. Like newborn babes, we have children in our home and we saw how they grew up. A baby is not ashamed to say, I need milk. Ma, ma. Not me. <laughs> me is for good. <laughs> Sometimes they cry. You see that you think they want to faint. They're not. They're exercising their, their lungs. Some mothers can't withstand it. They will not die. Those human beings are stronger than you think they are. I have watched from the internet a baby, a day old baby, go through a surgery, brain surgery. And the doctor beside me said, those human beings are stronger than you think they are. Their pain threshold is high. The baby the basis survived it. Praise the name of the Lord. So as a babe, desire. Crave for it. Not have hazard. You must make time. You must propose in your heart. There must be a hunger. As a newborn babe, you must desire the systemic of the world. Desire, this is, 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 this is,
the way to show express desire is pursuit. You must pursue it. You must take time, sit down, plan it, cultivate the habit, shut out anything that tries to binder you from craving, from studying, exit groups, friends, neighbors, issues that try to make you not to crave for it. Are you with me? Do something. Do something. Do something. It's a desire, the sincere milk of the world. It must be a cultivated test. It's something you will plan. I will do this. Each time I will do this. Make a conscious effort. Switch off that tube. Boom. Cut off some time you use for things, gisting, wandering about in the neighborhood, making phone calls. You know, phone calls are that time waster. Phone, 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 phone. Making calls, unnecessary calls, and add the time to a time when you desire. To see God through his word. A time to refresh your mind. A time to, 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 to open up, to engage the word of God. You must engage the word of God. He says, desire the sincere milk, milk of the word. So they can grow. It's the word of God that makes you grow. If you don't, you cannot grow. I challenge those of you that wander from one church to the other I don't know about that, but I'm just pitying you. As a pastor, I have to tell you, you wonder from one church to another, prayer points, prayer, 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 prayer. Prayer is too hot in this church. It's not hot. I moved to church A, to from church A, I moved to church B. You're just a wanderer. You cannot grow. Pray alone can make you grow. The scripture, and that's why I tell you, spend time to know biblical instructions. You can only grow when you meditate and study the word. Abby, desire the sincere milk of the word so that you will grow in your salvation. They didn't say go from one church to the other so you can grow. Sit down wherever God has called you and identify with the vision of the house. You are free to move to where, but look for a place you can identify with the vision and sit down and be a student of the word. You will grow. Praise the name of the Lord. And by that you are growing up, up, up. Praise the name of the Lord. Hebrews chapter 5. Verse 11 to 14. Somebody should read that. Hebrews 5. Because your iPad should be functioning. No. Put, put him on mic. Of whom we have much to say and hard to explain, since we have become dull of, dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracle of God, and you have come to need milk and, solid f and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Praise the name of the Lord. Simple. It says, I'll read from, it says, there is so much we would like to say about this. But it is difficult to explain, especially since you are spiritually dull and don't seem to listen. You have been believers so long now that you ought to be teachers. You ought to be teaching others. Instead, you need someone to teach you again the basic things about God's word. You are like babies who need milk and cannot eat solid food. For someone who lives in milk is still infant and doesn't know how to do what is right. Solid food is for those who are mature, who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. Verse 14 of King James says, The strong meat belongs to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised 
to the same both good and evil. It says, when you're supposed to be teaching others, you still want to be taught. Everybody was teachable. I'm not saying you jump to this place, jump to one church, this church, hey, you move to the next church, jumping, 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 jumping. Waiting for the milk of the world. Do you know that children in natural sense, when they are growing, some babies are so active that it gets a particular stage. He, as a mother said, this baby I must add celerac, must add cereal to this food. Because the milk cannot contain active. They will suck you. <laughs> I have to put put complex, all those solid food. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. If you keep on waiting for the milk, you won't grow. But that's what we call the meat of the world. When we begin to use study taking the meat and by using, you take them and apply them in your life. You grow. You, this, you acquire the skill to differentiate right and wrong. Here we say our vision is to do what? To demonstrate the knowledge of God to achieve our dream. How many of us have been demonstrating the knowledge of God you have acquired in this place? How many of us? I said in the morning, if you look at your situation, there are places you are now, now, now that needs your demonstration of your, the word of God. All of you, where you are in the office today, where you are at home, where you are with your colleagues, where you are in your family life, where you are in dealing with one habit or the other, where you are in dealing one with, with one secret sin, you're hiding, but you know, the devil knows, Holy Spirit knows. Where you are now, there are walls of God that you can demonstrate to come out of it, true or false? He says, he says, strong meat, strong meat belong to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use, using of application, reason of applying scripture. Have you been applying the scripture? He says, when you take in the strong meat, then you apply it. He said, by use, he said, who are of full age, even those by reason of use, have senses exercised to the same both good and evil. You apply it, you grow. You develop skill to the same good and evil. Say grow up. You must grow up. Milk cannot carry you. You need to switch to a bar. Rice of the world. Amala of the world. Pizza of the world. Let me go continental. The love rise of the world that can carry you. Praise the name of the Lord. We need to. That is kingdom life. It doesn't just end with clapping. Oh, today was fantastic. Oh, Dr. Nozo was beautiful. Ay, wonderful revelation. You step out there, you go to the office, your boss comes. Nkechi? Sorry if you're Nkechi. Nkechi? This is that project file. And I want an answer or solution or whatever in the next one week. Oh my God. You open it, you have to go to Oshodi. You have to go to this. You have to do this. You go to the full car. Assuming you don't have a car, you are an officer. The people in the transportation department are, are posting you. You run back, your boss, as far as concerned, by see where the waste system from. Go and sort it out. Go to the admin section. The admin will tell you this. Everything you have learned in Kingdom Life Conference, you turn into a small demon. At that point in time, by reason of the use of the meat, demonstrating the knowledge of God to achieve your dream, at that point in time, if you calm down, the Holy Spirit will give you scriptures. It will tell you, calm down. Be still and know that I am the Lord. 
is in scripture. You can demonstrate there. Also, be see and know. He can tell you other things, walk in wisdom. You demonstrate knowledge of God, achieve your dream. By reason of use and exercise themselves to the same from good and evil. That's how to grow up. But all those told us in the relationship, some a, a man will say, Ah, I will die to this. While you're dying, your mate is getting alive more. He said, No, 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 I won't die. All of us will die together on this. It doesn't work that way. Are you with me? You must grow up. Strong me belong to them that are full age. Even those by reason of use, reason of application, reason of demonstration. You must demonstrate it. Many of us are full of the word that even the weight is trying to crash my table. The table, the chair. You're heavy. You cannot use it to empty yourself. You're heavy. Hey! Powerful rev. This is a revelation. What is revelation when you can't use it? Praise the name of the Lord. Say after me, say, I will use. I will demonstrate. The knowledge of God to achieve the dream. Praise the name of the Lord. Quickly, lastly, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Are you with me this morning? 2 Timothy 3, 16. 2 Timothy 3, 16 says, 3, 16 and 7 to 17 says, All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. Listen, underline that in your book. Profitable for doctrine, underline. For reproof on the line, for correction on the line, for instruction in righteousness on the line, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto good works. That's the essence of the scripture. To grow up. He it says it's given by inspiration of God. It's God speaking to you. Not pastor, not redeemed Christian church of God, not assemblies of God, not deeper life. It's given to you by the inspiration of God. And it says it's profitable. When they say profit, all of us will remember buying and selling. This one is profitable. Scripture is profitable. Sit down. In it, there's wisdom you need for everything you want in life. Family, business, personal, financial, emotional, every area of your life, the scripture will deal with it. It's profitable. For doctrine, doctrine means teaching. When you apply scripture, when you teach it, it's teaching. What teaching does to you that teaching shows you the path to walk. And that's why I pray to sit down under teachers and learn the path to walk. Your life is not an accident. Are you with me? You're a part of God's plan. I don't care where you were born. I don't care circumstances we are born. Your parents may not be together now. One may be in England. And that one is Sokoto. They must have parted in one way or the other that you are not, you don't like. Do not remain there. Are you with me? Let it be your past as a reference. But don't be a place of dwelling. He says it's profitable to show us the path of your life. It's also profitable for reproof. Reproof means rebuke to show us where we missed it. Where you missed it, if you engage the word of God every time, he will tell you where you missed it. And every life that is not an unexamined life, rather, an, an unexamined life is a dangerous life. There must be a time you examine, the, your life is examined. And the scripture helps you through rebuke, shows you where you missed it. Are you with me? Also, it's profitable for correction. A life that is not corrected. A child that is left on his own will bring sorrow to the parents. And I use that to warn you. You, also, you are also a child to God. Abi? They will correct you with the word of God. You correct your children. Junior, don't do this. Don't do that. He, he, he will be angry. Look at you. He will be angry. By the time he is 20 years old, he will become, a, he will become a, 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 a cobra in your house. 
I remember a, a story I had about an armed robber. He, he was allowed to live a wild life. And on this fateful time, I, I heard it somewhere. He, he was tied on the stake to be killed. And they asked to see, to see his mother. When the mother came, he said, Mother, please, can I talk to you? When the mother moves the ear, he grabbed the ear. And squeezed the ear. Say, you, you, you didn't correct me. So if you are literally watching me, you are behaving the same thing. Don't touch him. Don't touch her. That's the only child. You, uh -huh. That's the only child. You don't know what I went through. Nine months in pain. My legs were hanging for this whole nine months. I went through this. Mm. <laughs> Children need instruction. Give to them. You need when you smile. You need your time. You need the time you, 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 you keep yourself. They know when dad is angry, mom is angry. When you enter the house, they hear your divorce of your car. It's a mixed feeling. Daddy is around. Some other, the feeling also, after that is around, did I do what I'm supposed to do? You know, when we were growing up, was, you, you, all of you grew up in uh, towns. We grew, grew up in... The light were not there. So we used to, there is this lamp. We used to, this lamp. You clean the lamp with a... Uh, eh? Thank you. You break anyone. No problem. That is coming back. My mother would say, no problem. By the time you hear the noise of the Volkswagen vehicle, come, vroom, 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 vroom. you're already shaking. Because you have to explain. It helped us. Praise the name of the Lord. For a big, for correction. Correction tells you how to get back on track. Cause correction. And also profitable in instruction in righteousness. Teaches you how to stay on track. Corrects your, shows you your path. Will show you where you've missed it, gets you back on track, and also teaches you how to stay on track. That's what the word of God does to you. Shows you the path, corrects you, takes you back, and shows you how to stay. So if you're not studying the word of God, you're not growing up. You can't get all these things. Amen? So I challenge you this morning, in closing, let us begin to grow up. Amen? Say after me, say, Father, help me. Even as I grow old, I will also be growing up. That's your desire for me. That's why you sent your word. That's why you say man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of your mouth. I shall grow up also. Even as I grow old. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's just bow down this morning. I believe you've been blessed today. And I thank God for your decision to listen to this telecast. And I want to give you the opportunity to invite Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior. So if you are ready, you pray along with me now. Heavenly Father, I thank you today for giving your son Jesus to die for me. And today, I invite you into my life to be my Lord and my Savior. I renounce every relationship I have with the devil. And I declare it's not avoid. And I declare that Jesus died for me. He was buried and he rose again on the third day. For me, he shed his blood. And I invite him into my life to be my Savior. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. My brother, I thank you for your decision. It's a wonderful, wise decision. And I know that you will be blessed by that decision. I'm encouraging you. If you need somebody to talk to, you're lonely, you need somebody to talk to, somebody to counsel you on issues of life using the scripture. Our telephone line is on the screen. They can also pray with you and speak to you. Also, our address, email address, church address, and phone number is on the screen and I thank God as you do this and I believe that God will show you signs and wonders. Thank you Lord and God bless you.
We know that you have richly blessed by this message. You can visit RCCG Lily of the Valley World and Sound Desk at 31 or Latunde Onimola Street off Pap and Himashan Road, Surulere, Lagos. God bless you.